Today, I'm going to use standard Maclaurin series to expand more complicated functions. For the first example, I'm going to take the case of e to the x plus x squared. So I'm going to use the expansion that we already know for e to the x to work that out. So let's first write down e to the x. e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial going on forever. So using that, I'm going to have that e to the x plus x squared is, all I have to do is write x plus x squared instead of x, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x plus x squared squared over 2 factorial plus x plus x squared cubed over 3 factorial. And I don't actually need any more terms because I'm only going up as far as the term in x cubed. The smallest degree in this one is x squared. The smallest degree in this one would be x cubed. And if I had it to the power 4, the smallest power of x would be x to the 4. So everything up here is beyond the term that we're asked to go to. Now it's a case of expanding. This is 1 plus x plus x squared plus, if I square the top, I get x squared plus 2 times x times x squared. And the next term, I'll put it in, is going to be x to the 4, but I'm not going to need it. Divided by 2 factorial plus now with the cube one, I've got x cubed plus everything else is going to be x to the 4 or greater. So I can ignore everything that goes up there. If I put those together, I get that e to the x plus x squared is 1 plus x plus x squared plus a half x squared is plus 3 over 2x squared. And then I get plus x cubed plus x cubed over 6. That's plus 7 over 6x cubed. And that is up to the term in x cubed, which is where we were asked to go to. For what values of x does the series converge? Well, e to the x converges for all values of x, and therefore this converges also for all real numbers x. Quite simple. Just take the standard series and put in the function that we're asked for. My second example is just a little bit more complicated. Find a series expansion for cos 2x over 1 minus 3x. Again, up to and including x cubed. Well, we need to think of this in two parts. The series expansion for cos x is, just to remind you, 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial. We've already gone too far. So if we want cos 2x, stopping by x cubed, it is 1 minus 2x squared over 2 factorial, which is just 1 minus 2x squared. And 1 minus 3x on the bottom, well, we should be familiar with the binomial expansion, which is a Maclaurin expansion. 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1, 
2 shriek x squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 shriek x cubed and we don't have to go any further so if i'm looking at 1 minus 3x to the power of minus 1 1 plus minus 1 times 3 is plus 3x plus minus 1 times minus 2 over 2 factorial times minus 3x squared plus minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 over 3 factorial times minus 3x cubed and that's as far as we need to go nice easy one to simplify 1 plus 3x 4 minus sign so that's plus 1 and 2 on the top cancel with 2 factorial 3 squared is 9 6 minus signs plus 1 2 3 on the top 3 2 1 on the bottom cancel 3 cubed is 27 x cubed so we can stop there now we're in a position to look at cos 2x divided by 1 minus 3x cos 2x was 1 minus 2x squared 1 over 1 minus 3x is 1 plus 3x plus 9x squared plus 27x cubed stopping at x equals or the x cubed term and if we work that out we get 1 times 1 1 times 3x and then my x cubed x squared term is going to be 2x squared minus 2x squared plus 9x squared is plus 7x squared. And the x cubed term is going to be minus 2, 6x cubed, 2x squared times 3x, minus 6x cubed plus 27x cubed is going to be plus 21x cubed. up to x cubed. When is it convergent? Well, cos 2x series is convergent for all real x. 1 plus x to the n you should remember is convergent for mod x less than 1. So in this case, we are convergent for mod 3x less than 1. Putting those together, we get mod x less than a third.